flag in the air. Here we go one time. Saturday night racing right here at 105 Speedway. Terry Hobson in the 01. No, that's the one, I'm sorry, the 127 of Olden Holder. Out to an early lead. Holder slides up against the outside wall. That gives everybody else a chance to get on by. Here comes the 93 machine. That is Philip Seals. And the 16 of James Bryant. At a turn number four, leading this lap, the 16 machine of James Bryant, followed by Philip Seals. Owen Holden coming up, doing a little bumpy bump, bump, bump. Philip Seals has a little problem with his 93 machine as he pulls it to the infield. James Bryant still out in front. Got us a race for that second spot, the 44 machine of Dawson Smith. And Owen Holder putting on their own race inside a race. James Bryant still out in front as we got three more to go. Coming out of four, we got two more circles, two more times around. It's James Bryant, Holden Holder, and the 44 machine of Dawson Smith. Underneath the flag stand, white, white flag is out. James Bryant trying to bring it to that checkered flag on a stick. As he goes down the back straightaway, Holder in that second spot. And the 44 of Dawson Smith. There is your winner in the number 16 machine, James Bryant. Followed by Olden. Green flag in the air. Here we go. We are heat race number two, factory stock racing. Justin McClellan on the outside in the 113. Putting a fender out in front. Go, going sideways, the 115 machine. As he gets it back right there, that's the 85 of Robert Smith. He gets it back up and we stay green, green, green. Justin McClellan out in front as he leads the parade, the number 12 of Ethan Cossey, hanging on to that second spot. Michael Brown in the 29M, Huntsville, Texas, coming out in that third spot. McClellan, Cossey, Brown, one, two, three, coming out of four. Out of four, underneath the flag stand with three laps to go. It's the 113 machine from Baytown, Texas, Justin McClellan. We go around and around, we get straight. The 85 machine of Robert Smith gathers it all back up as we got two to go, two more circles. Justin McClellan coming out of turn four. White flag in the air one more time around. Followed by the number 12 of Ethan Cossey and Michael Brown in the 29 machine. 
stretching it out, coming out of four, checkered flag waving. There's your winner in the 113 from Baytown, Texas, Justin McClellan. Followed by the number 12 of Ethan Cossey and Michael Brown. One, two, three. For it. As we come under the flag stand. David Spencer in the number four, pushing that pedal all the way to the floor, and then some. Out of turn four, number one. David Spencer, 18.1 speed around this thing in that little machine. I tell you what, they got them lines or going and rowing, don't they? Underneath the flag stand, David Spencer, Cash Lacombe, and Jace Raper running one, two, three. Cash Lacombe catching up with him. Does he have enough? Off into turn number three, closing the gap. Here comes the number 10, run a good 17-9 that time around. Good job. Down the back straightaway, into three. Hang on to what you got. Uh, no. oh, okay. On his back bumper, David Spencer, Cash Lacombe. Lacombe has the fastest lap out there as he does a little bob and weaving. As we come out, we got three more to go. Mike check one two. Mike check one two. Uh. All right, David Spencer, number four. Your current leader, Cash Lacombe. He'll be pulling double duty out here tonight. Lacombe drive the number ten car. He'll be the number ninety seven wing sprint here in a few minutes. Car number twenty four. Haven't talked about her. That is Carolyn Sanders out of Angleton, Texas, in the number three spot, right on her rear bumper. The thirteen car of Jack Raper out of Danbury, Texas. Come around to pick up the white flag. Car number four is still your current leader, David Spencer. And Spencer has got a rear view mirror full of cash money, cash Lacombe. They go down the back straight away. This is it. Lacombe better do it. I think it's all going to be David Spencer coming out of turn number four for the win. David Spencer out of League City, Texas, sponsored by 3R Sports. Uh, Bayview Motorsports, A01 roof. No green flag in the air. Chris Ote in the 85, out in front, the 19, running behind him, that's Chris Dana, followed by everyone else in here. Josh Witzel in the number 88, coming up in that third spot behind the 57 machine of Blaine Estes. Everybody still chasing Chris Ote in the 85 machine. Getting crowded up at the front of this pack. Oh, we going high, we going low. We split the 85 machine of Chris Ote. Blaine Estes in the 27. Here comes the number B51 of Johnny Brown Jr. Johnny Brown down under the 85. Ote coming back in. Oh, that's Wetzel in the number 88. Yella, yella, yella. Here we go one more time. Full pack up at the front of this pack right here. Whoa, Wentzel going around inside. Oh, we got one sideways. That's the number 51B. As a lot of smoke comes from that car. That will bring out our... Come on, guys. Let's finish this thing up.
It's Wetzel. Sosa running one, two. Rick Henley, Rick Henry in that third spot in the 99 as Wetzel still is up at the front of this parade. Underneath the flag stand with three to go. It's Wetzel, Sosa, and Henry. Two to go, two more times around. Josh Wetzel. Down the back straight away as he starts to pull a little bit, starts to spread that gap. Under the flag stand, white flag in the air. One more circle around. Josh Wetzel. Wetzel off into turn number three. Looking for that checkered flag on the stick. Steve said, here you go, your winner in the number 88 machine, John Wetzel from Santa Fe, Texas. Flag racing. Whoop, 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 getting them together on the back straightaway. Everybody keeps going, we stay green. That's the 41 machine. Up at the front of this pack of Joe Butler, Jr. Joe Butler coming out of four, leading lap number seven. Joseph McIntyre in the 44, trying to reel him in. It's all about Joe Butler Jr. in that number 41 JR up at the front of here. Mark Asher in that 74 fighting him in the zero of Carl, Kevin Carl. Two men race up at the front of that. Here comes Joe McIntyre in the 44. He has to lift up as he could not get the pass on the outside. Out of turn number four. Fighting for that second spot. Kevin Carl in the zero. Everybody's still chasing. Joe Butler in the 41 machine. Out of turn four, we got two flags in the air. That means we got two more times around. Joe Butler, it's his race to lose or win as he goes down the back straightaway. Butler's got the white flag in the air. McIntyre in the 44 cannot quite reel him in. And Kevin Carl running out your top three in the zero. And the three out of four checkered flag on a stick waving in the air. There comes your winner in the number 41 machine from Cleveland, Texas, Joe Butler, Jr. Side of row number two as the green flag waves is going to be the 21T of Stephen Robbins and Connor Chamberlain. We're going to have a drag race down into turns one and two. A gaggle of cars already battling here for the second place spot. Three wide on the two. Well, I'll tell you what, they go down the back straight away. It is a good battle. They're trying to go make it three and four up here, trying to come in here for the number two, three, and four spot. And right now, the 43 car, that's Kevin Johnson in the number two spot. Keep an eye on that 22 of Dustin Maxwell all the way out of Baytown, Texas. Started all the way P6 and already up three spots here, driving around the bottom group of the racing surface, looking to the inside out of turn number four. Not going to be enough next time. Going to have to try it again on Johnson. Mike Walling, two weeks ago over at Gulf Coast Speedway, did about $800 damage to the rear end of his car when the chain came off. He got it all put back together, back out here, ready to go racing. He's sitting in the number one spot. And right there, we prefaced it a little bit earlier. Here comes Maxwell, stalking the 43 of Kevin Johnson on a Conroe, Texas. Maxwell's going to go to the bottom group of the racing service, drag race out of two. Johnson will have the advantage, setting him up, and it turns three and four. Back to the bottom goes Maxwell. 
Connor Chamberlain sitting in the number four spot, trying to work his way up here in car number 55. He's got a long ways to go to try to catch up that number 29 car of Mike Walling, your current leader. Mike Walling walking the dog here in this one as of right now, carrying himself a very nice straightaway advantage on that 22 of Maxwell. Top groove is hustling. Starting to work in on lap traffic of Riley Yates, just right ahead of car number 29. Riley Yates brings it out to turn number four down the front straightaway. Mike Walling to the rear bumper. He'll go around this time, put her a lap down. Lap cars sometimes come into play, but right now that's not going to be the case as he's going to stick around the bottom groove of the racing service, allowing Walling to walk around the outside as the white flag is going to wave one more lap and four more turns for the 29W. All right, the 22 car, Maxwell in the number two spot, trying to hang Tom for everything he can. He's going to work his way to the number two spot. Number 43 currently sits in the third spot. That is Kevin Johnson out of Conroe, Texas. And checkered flag, there it is. 29W of Mike Walling, Dustin Maxwell in second place spot. Running out in your top one, two, three will be that 43K of Mr. Kevin. Ricky Raper's going to round up the field in car number 13. Here we go for lap number one. Jace Alvarez going to bring that fluorescent orange roll cage in a turn number one. But look at this to the outside. He's already dropping back to the number two spot. That is going to be Maverick Elkins with a big lead by the time they get to the end of the straightaway. Alex Karpovic's going around the outside groove of the racing service. He used that line last weekend with the National Series over at I-30 Speedway in Little Rock, Arkansas. Very familiar territory on that top shelf as the cushion's going to continue to build in as he is tracking down Elkins. All right, sitting back here in the number four spot, Dustin Howerman in the number four spot trying to work his way around. Jace Alvarez, he's got it to the number three spot. Looking for the crossover, ladies and gentlemen, out of turn number two, wheel to wheel, toward the door, down the back, shoot, we go. Corner advantage is going to look down to the inside of Alex Kaparvix in the 72. Elkins trying to hold something on him right now at the line. It's still going to be the 25 of Elkins. Elkins uses the long way around the racetrack because he goes around the outside, but it doesn't look like Kerpowix is going to give up just yet. Still battling down first and second into turn number three and four. Here they go. Take it away, Caleb. Amsoil machine right now looking nice and calm, cool, and collected here as we are cross flags halfway home. Looking for another dive down to the inside of number two down the back chute. Not going to be enough. Setting it up for turns three and four, running in his tracks. Still a good battle for the lead, but Hamlin back there in car number 21H sits in the number three spot. Alvarez, car number 27, in the fourth spot. Fifth spot goes to Raper in car number 13. Yeah, and watch that 13 and Ricky Raper starting to reel him in down the back chute right now in turns three and four. Working the top groove of the racing surface. Several drivers are liking that line as he's going to battle at it there with that 21H of Hamelman. I tell you what, for 72, Karpowix has not given up. Sitting in car number 72 right behind Maverick Elkins, Elkins as they come off a of turn number three and four. White flag's going to wave with a two-tenth advantage here for the 25 of Maverick Elkins. Elkins going to try to hold on to this one right now. Will we see the haymaker out of turn number four? This is the heat race, not the money. Kapowicz, he's going to hold into the number two spot. Maverick Elkins car number 25 is going to be your winner. So pretty for Buford as he dumped it over there at Gulf Coast Speedway. But here we go. Ferguson's going to be, be your leader into turn number one. Lucas on the outside. He's going to get to the number one spot as they go down the back straightaway. Oh, he's got to be watching out for that 57 of that Lucas Speed Factory machine. Jacob Lucas runs on the top shelf, loves that cushion. But here comes, we already said, watch out for him, Carson Batterby. Batterby, car number 38, has worked his way to the number two spot. No, no, he's back to the number three spot. As Ferguson says, nope, you're not going to get ahead of me that easy. And your current leader right now is Lucas in car number 57. Bash is going to have his hands full down through turns one and two. Slide job looking here in turns number one and two. Can he pull it off? Top shelf will not hold. And that's going to butt the 38 of Carson Battery now in that second place spot. We went three wide for fourth, fifth, and sixth back here. It is Deuce Chamberlain and the 01 car. And I believe who is 75. Three wide battle, that is going to continue. Working the bottom groove is going to be that 01 of Buford. 95 is going to lose a little bit of the groove as the 71 of Oliver is going to stick the nose right to the bottom. Not enough. Buford is going to keep that fourth place spot. Bash Ferguson's holding tough the number three spot right now. Car number 91 just ahead of him. Batterby in car number 38. And your current leader, car number 57, that is Lucas. And Lucas Motorsports, your leader down the back straightaway. Batterby's going to have a lot of work to do. He's got a 1.541, 1541 
deficit between he and that 57 of Lucas as we are now twin sticks, two laps to go here in heat race number three. And still your leader, Lucas, car number 57, down the back straightaway. He is stretching it out as he goes into turn number three and four. Coming up on car number 171, he'll work to put him a lap down. That is going to be in the 171, Kenny Caldwell. As the white flag waves, Weldon Buford in the 01, looking down to the inside of the 91 of Bash Ferguson out of Willis, Texas. Weldon started P7, but right now out of turn four, lap traffic not going to come into play. Jacob Lucas in the 57 out of Allen, Texas is going to take your top spot. Jacob Lucas, your winner of the Lone Star 600s. Now 600s. Too many 600s. All right, here we go off in there. It is going to be Batterby in the number two spot just ahead of him. Oh, but look at this. Come to the inside. Here comes car number 24, Ryder Wells, trying to get to the number one spot. Ryder Wells making big move there in turns three and four, trying to lock that bottom down. Ebar holding it right there. Will we have an opportunity from Wells as they both going to push up out of the exit of turn number two? Batterby still your leader. The good battle right now for second and third. Whoa! Ebar goes all the way across the nose of Ryder Wells. Opens the door. Ryder Wells, car number 24 to the number two spot. And he's going round and round. Ryder Wells tipped his cap and walked right through that door, but gave it right back. Said, no, I'm not ready to run in that second place spot. I'm going to have a little bit more work as we're going to have four laps now in the books. Meanwhile, Batterby is in his own zip code up here in the front right now. Matt E. Barb, car number 10 in the number two spot. Dennis, the 171 of Caldwell, sitting in third. E. Barb going to have to try to get something going for him right now as he's got a three-second gap between he and your race leader, but only five-tenths Whoa. of a second behind E. Barb is Caldwell. And great save there by the Ryder Wells, number 24. Ryder Wells looped him all apart out of turn number two. He decided he want to look at that infield tractor tire one more time. And Matt E. Barb is parked in the infield. Ebarb's run is going to end here on lap number four. Didn't complete it to start here on lap five. But you know what? Shaping up right now, Sean Wilkins working the outside groove with the 171 of Alex Caldwell. All right, coming around here. We'll pick up the white flag this time around. I tell you what, look at this. The 24 car, he's had some problems, but he's still sitting in the number five spot right now out of eight. Ebarb is your in the infield, we got a car stopped over here. Yeah, and Wilkins loops it on his own, overcooks it on the top shelf, and that's going to bring in our first caution here in heat race number four. They announce our guy live. And we're going to see who we're going to be talking about right now. It's going to be a green-white checkered. Batterby had that lead cut drastically with the caution. Called well there. The 171 out of Manville, Texas, is going to be having to deal with that 24 of Ryder Wells. Now, Batterby got the lead in big time as he's uh, got one lap to go here. Caldwell, car number 171. Look, check out Ryder Wells on the inside. Not going to make it stick. He's got one more time to do it. Car number 24, keep your eyes on him. He goes to the bottom. Caldwell's up high. Batterby is going to be your winner. Check it out. We got a slide job, and it's Ryder Wells to the number two spot. That's the way you want to end a race. And green checkered flag, green, green. <laughs> Green flag in the air as Nathan Renfro goes to the outside in the 911 machine. Donald Kane trying to hang with him as it's Renfro and Kane one and two. Kenneth Jessup running in that third spot in the 14 machine and the B-52 of Tyler Barsendale. Nose to tail as we go down the back straightaway. It's still Renfro in the 911. Kane trying to reel him in in the 7179 as we got six more circles to go. A little bit of smoke coming from the B 52 of Tyler of Arsendale as he takes it to the pits. 911 getting high, getting fast, getting going. Donald Kane in the 179 has something wrong with his car as he puts it down and into the exit. Nathan Renfro now starting to spread his car out as he goes under the flag stand, followed by Kenneth Jessup Jr. in the number 14 machine. We are spread out north to south all over this track. 
Nathan Riffro coming out under the flag as we got three to go. Renfro going down the back straightaway, coming up on some lap traffic. See how he handles that. As we got two flags in the air, that means we got two more times around. Two to go. Renfro up high, going around some lap traffic. Jessup's trying to reel him in. Renfro spreading it out. White flag in the air one more time around. Nathan Renfro followed by Kenneth Jessup. Coming out of turn number three into four, looking for that checkered flag. There is your winner in the 9-11, Nathan Renfro. Followed by Kenneth Jessup in the 14 and the number 52 of Cody Wade. Racing. Lakin Hudnall in the 444 on the outside as we got them three wide, four wide almost down the back straightaway. Kenny Berry going in the middle, splitting everything in that old one. He comes out of turn number three. Whoa, he got somebody who does not like the furniture. Rearrange that tire as he brings it to the infield. Colt Bieber in the 47. Kenny Berry showing him a fender. Barry down, down low, trying to make it stick. He comes out of turn number four, into one out of two, almost side by side. It's Beaver and Barry as we got a drag race down the back straightaway. Out of turn four, here we go. We got us a new leader, the old one of Kenny Barry. Michael Copeland at 45, trying to get down in the mix. Kenny Berry in the 01, starts to pull a little bit in the old blue 01. It's Berry up at the front. Beavers and Copeland. Kenny Berry coming out with two to go, two circles around. Beavers and Coatland putting on a race right here for that second spot as the 444 of Hundle as we got the white flag in the air. Kenny Berry one more time around. Kenny Berry starting to pull him down the back straightaway. Whoa, we got one up on the wall. We're going red, red, red. Got time, kaboom, kaboom. Green flag in the air. We are back, green flag racing. Kenny Berry gets a good start. He goes into turn one, out of two, down the back straightaway. He's going to stretch his lead as they fight for that second spot. White flag is out one more time around. Sonny Wobble in that 69S trying to sneak up to his back door. He's right on his back bumper. Does he have enough? Kenny taking it into turn three, out of turn four, side by side. Here we go under the flag, and it's the 01 of Kenny Berry. 97 of Cash Money Lacombe in the 15 of Katie Howard looking for another dub here. And we are green and underway. Katie Howard picked up a feature win over there at Gulf Coast Speedway the other night. But check out the dude, Jude Algar. He's out in front, but there's a yellow flag. And here we go, coming out of turn number four. Car number 19 is going to be your leaders. They go off into turn number one, Bo Chapman. Jude Algar, car number four, gets shoveled back to the back, but he's going to try to get it back up the front. Katie Howard, car number 15, to the number two spot.
Howard going up to the top group of the racing service here on lap one as we go three wide momentarily is cash money looking for the money here early tonight in a heat race trying to set himself up for success big pass on a four to take the race lead cash lacombe went up to arkansas to, uh, last week picked up some big points in the uh, now 600 series trying to make sure i get the white series now saying to something else oh into the berm the 61 of the lucas speed factory machine brennan lucas he kept it going caution flags on the our car number four here we go back up and running yeah, both Cash Money and the dude ran up at Little Rock last weekend. And so they're going to take a little bit of that national competition and bring it back with them here in the regional level and see how they're going to shape up here tonight at 105 Speedway in Cleveland, Texas. Keep your eyes on that 15 car of KD Howard. She, she likes running out front. She's up there mixing up with the boys. She's an eighth grader volleyball player. She's doing really good. Got the big red light up for car. I'm not sure what that's for. We'll have to find out. I'm sure there's a story behind it. As we know, there's always a story behind anything in racing. All right, right now, so big story is going to be seeing what Jude the Dude, the number four, if he can take care of that number four of Lucas. All right, so Jude Algar, car number four, he's trying to do everything he can to work his way up to the number three spot. Meanwhile, Cash Money is sitting out front, car number 97. Yeah, Cash, man, he's got himself a handy lead right now. Eight-tenths of a second over Katie Howard as we're now about to clock at three laps remaining. Five of the books, eight more to go as we're stretched out pretty good. Cash Lacombe, car number 97. Oh! That Luke is around once again in car number 61. He's going to park it and bring out the caution flag. He'll be off the track this go-round. Better off, you're going to start for the A-Main. Here we go, coming out of turn number four, down the front street. Car number 97, your leading Katie Howard, car number 15. In the number two spot, Jude Algar, car number four, settles in third. Yeah, Howard's going to move up a width down in turns one and two, just be a little bit to that middle groove. Jude the dude trying to figure out something here on the bottom as the white flag's going to wave on the 97 of Cash Lacombe. All right, car seven, Lucas in the fourth spot. Bo Chapman, car number 19 in the fifth spot. But coming down, now to turn number three into turn number four, car number 97 is going to be your winner. Cash money, Cash Lacombe. Cash got the job done very nicely here in this one. Going to double checks here. Let's go off the list. Coming out of turn number four. They're going to try to go three wide as they come down the front straight away. Deegan Lell's making a big move down to the outside groove of the racing service. Watch out. Here comes that 21 of Hamilton into the same berm that Lucas caught in the previous heat race. Oh, here we go. Coming out of turn number four. We're off and running. And we're going to have a great start on that front row with Hamelman and Moss, but here comes Lels right there with them. Hamelman side by side with uh, Lels. They go down the back straight away, and then Lels going to get up to the number two spot. Dalton Moss, car number 84, is going to be your leader for lap number one. Hamelman and Wayne, 21D21H, going to be wheel to wheel here momentarily down the front stretch. Getting that whole shot will be that 21H of Dylan Hamelman out of Alvin, Texas. Kinsley Riley, car number 12, going to drop up here just a little bit. She's bringing up the field right now. And like I said, these kids, these are this is a stepping ground to get out here, try to figure out how to drive these cars without the wings because these drivers out here, they actually hate the wings because it makes them too easy to drive. Absolutely. When you take the wings off and you get rid of that downforce, that's going to open up and free the car up. You can get some real good slide job racing when you're non-wing in these 600s, no matter the class, whether it's restrictors or A-class. It gets pretty darn interesting. We're going to see how that's going to shape up later on into tonight's A mains. And the only difference between these cars and the cars without the wings is, of course, the wing. But then there's a restrictor plate that's between the either the carburetors and the head or the injectors in the head. Your choice. You can either run a fuel injection or you can run the uh, carburetor. But right now, Dalton Moss, he's chosen just a lead in car number 84 as he's pulling out away from Deegan Lells. I'm kind of surprised Deegan Lells hadn't closed the gap up by now. Yeah, on that last completed lap, Dalton Moss had a 2.714, 2714 advantage on Deegan Lells. Deegan in that 9D, man, he is always a tough cookie to crack here at 105 Speedway. But right now, we may see something change here tonight. And this restrictor class. Will White we have a new flies. case? White flags in the air for car number 84. Dalton Moss, he's starting to work his way into the rear bumper of the 12 car. And, and here we go. Here we go. He's going to dive bomb down to the inside. Good job. And 
Final turn, final time. Lap traffic not going to come into play. 84, Dalton, D-Man, Moss, and a Lucas Speed Factory. Boom, boom, fireworks machine. Creatively worthy candle company. Southeast Texas Aquarium Specialist and a long, long list. Boss Chassis. Green, green, green. Here we go. Down the back straightaway, the 99 machine of J.T. Garland. He gets sideways, he reels it in. Here with the 77 of Jaden Pena. On the outside, the 17M, here comes Jesse McNorton. Jesse McNorton has reeled in J.T. Garland. See if he's got enough to get around him. Out of turn four, J.T. Garland, Jesse McNorton, Jaden Pena running one, two, three. J.T. Garland coming out up turn four with three to go. Does Jesse McNorton have anything going way up high out of turn number two? He reels it back down. He's testing that high side, see if he's got any grip up there. J.T.'s got two more laps to hold him off. Jesse McNorton in that second spot on the cushion. Reeling him in down the back straightaway, J.T. Pushing the pedal, still holding off. And McNorton way up high as we got the white flag is out. McNorton trying to do a crossover as he gets up into the guns. Can't quite spin to get it out. Last chance, McNorton up high. JT is your winner. And the 17 of Jesse McNorton in that second spot. One racing this time around, car number four. That is David Spencer, car number four. Outside of him, go, oh, we got a car going around. Spencer goes around. Gonna get it back rolling here. Cash to comb, car number 10 is your current leader. All right, so we're gonna keep them going here. Car number 24 in the number three spots, that's Carolyn Sanders. And she's turning the 19, 151. Here we go, come right here. And Spencer, like I said, got spun around, and he's about a half a lap down now to Cash Lacombe in car number 10. This is your feature event right here. I could not find it. All right, coming out of turn number four. Cash to come, still your leader. 12 laps to go. And check out car number 24. <laughs> Let's see, where are we at here? Gotta find, okay, there we are. Car number 10, your current leader. That is Cash Lacombe. That is a good looking car here. Currently sitting in the number two spot right now. That is Jace Raper in car number 13, Carolyn Sanders, car number 24, trying to run him down as he goes turn number three and four. Yeah, last time by that flag stand, there was only a, well, let's see, let's just wait for it this time. Four tenths of a second separating Jace Raper and Carolyn Sanders there down the front stretch, and it turns one and two. Down the back chute we go, not much getting gained or lost here in this battle for the second place spot as cash money in the number 10, walk in the dog. Do you know these kids, they got some good, solid lines. They're not just out there all over the place here trying to hold it as straight as possible as they go all the way around the track here. And the 24 cars close up a little bit on the 13 car. Carolyn Sanders is going to try to look 
to make a move next time as we are seven in the books out of the slated 15. So Sanders going to start to reel in Rapers. Rapers going to push up here on the exit of turn number two, closing on in. 24, Carolyn Sanders. Sanders going to, oh, man. The, <laughs> the chrome horn comes into play. She said, green flags back in the air here once again. Cash Lacombe, car number 10, your current leader. Raper, car number 13, the number two spot. Spencer, car number four, in the number three spot. And check out, here comes Carolyn Sanders. These guys worried. He's saying, if you see a pink wing coming anywhere near you, you better be ready to go. <laughs> yeah, right now, one, two, three, just about equidistant, but good run there for the four of David Spencer in turns one and two, starting to gain a little ground on that 13 of Jace Raper down into turns three and four. Raper looked a little bit loose, come through turns number three and four. And Spencer, like you said, has closed up the gap. Cash Lacombe doesn't have that big lead he had a while ago, neither. Yeah, Cash, you can see him working that bottom groove of the racing service, not bobbling very much, keeping that car nice and smooth and consistent. Another bobble there from the 13 of Raper. That's going to allow David Spencer in the four to gain a little bit more ground and cut into the real estate. Caroline said, you guys better watch out if I get to you. That chrome horn is coming for you. The microphone is in and out. Laps winding down, 11 in the books, four more to go right now. And speaking of things to go, is going to be a battle for the second place spot. Mic check, all right, we're back in here. All right, so it looks like car number 24. Mic check, one, two, all right. All right, so car number 10, we're having problems with the uh, microphones up here, not wanting to work with one another here. Spencer is coming up and has got to the rear bumper of Raper. Remember the last time somebody got the rear bumper of Raper, he went round and round. White flags out this time around for cash money. Cash Lacombe, car number 10. Here we go. Cash Lacombe going to work to the back chute. Final lap, final turn, final time. Cash Lacombe looking for the money out of turn number four. Ladies and gentlemen, put it on together. Hands in the air. Cash Lacombe, your winner. Raper, car number 13 in second. Caroline, car number 24 in the third spot. The outside, and we are green flag racing in the micro sprint B main. Check out the 55 car of Connor Chamberlain. Chamberlain's going to get side by side as they go down the back straightaway. Scott Oliver, car number 71, in the number two spot. We got a car spinning around. Keep them going. No caution flag. Caution flag going to stay in the back pocket of Steve, our flagman, as we're going to begin to click laps off, working to set up our final lineup for tonight's A main here momentarily. Chamberlain holds on to the number one spot in quarter of 55. And we... Caution on the track, but we got it all straight now. Here we go, back to racing. Chamberlain, car number 55, is going to be your leader into turn number one and two. Stevens off the pace in car number 21T. Coming into three and four is still Chamberlain, your leader. Oliver, car number 71 in the number... Car number 27, Carly sits in the third spot. He's got on the outside of an all-black car trying to figure out the number as they come off a of turn number four. It is Wilkins, car number 75, in the fourth spot, and it looks like that is Ferguson working his way into the number four spot right now. Top ten cars go to the A main. Working right now. Battle for the race lead starting to shape up right now. The five-five acts of Connor Chamberlain passing into Texas. Going to have his hands folded around the bottom group of the racing service. Watch out because we now got ourselves a new guy in the third place spot got with laps spot. winding down and the caution is out. All right. Another turn number four. We're back up and running. 
We have a real nice good start here as we drag race down into turns one and two. Here comes Ferguson. Tim looking to the outside groove of the racing service in turns one and two. Wheel to wheel out of turn two down the back chute. Oliver still holds up the number two spot. Chamberlain, your current leader, but here comes Ferguson all the way to the top. Jace Alvarez currently sits in the number three spot because he got passed by the 71 car of Oliver. Three wide here out of turn number two. Tim Ferguson getting the top groove to roll for him right now. Working the bottom groove of the racing service. We're going to have a two-for-one special. Here comes the 27 machine of none other than your man coming from the sixth-place spot, Mr. Jace Alvarez. Jace Alvarez, car number 27. He's got his sights set on the number one spot. As car number 55 is your current leader, that's Chamberlain. But here comes Ferguson in car number 92. 5T Aguilera kind of getting into the mix here a little bit as well. Three, four-way battle for the race lead as laps begin to wind down. This is only the B main, top 10 dough to the A main. Look at this, they're trying to go three wide for the lead. Alvarez, Conroe, Texas representing right now, trying to look to the outside groove of the racing service. Chamberlain has his hands full. Slide job, and we've got ourselves a parking lot and turns. Oh, one, two, and one. Down. End Stop over down. end in turn number three. Yeah, hey! Leading lap number one, the one three machine, Justin McClellan. Justin McClellan out in front in that three. Running in that second spot, the number 16 machine from Shepherd, Texas, James Bryant. Olin Holder running off, holding off that third spot. It's still the 113 machine of Justin McClellan. <laughs> McClellan starting to spread out just a little bit. He sprints almost four, five, six car lengths as we got to run for that second spot. Olin Holder knocking on his back door. Whoa, got one going around right here. He's doing a little better. Here we go. We got it right. That's the 39 machine going for a ride round and around. That will bring us up on some map traffic. The 16 machine, James Bryant takes his machine to the hot pits. Whoa, we're going around and around again. That's two in a row. That will be a caution. Hey, Green flag in the air, here we go. Green flag racing. McClellan, Holder. Holder coming out of turn two on the outside. He starts reeling him in pretty quick. He might have found something on that high side as he comes out, nose to tail in that second spot. Holden Holder. Reeling him in down the back straightaway. Going to have us a two-man race right here just shortly. Lucky 13 more times around. It's McClellan, Holder, Causey. Knocking on that back door. Holden Holder coming down right here side by side. Holder's got the inside on him. Can he pull him? Let's see. The 113, McClellan, as he pulls him off that high side. It's still McClellan and Holder, one and two. Causey on the back door. Right outside in the 44D is Michael Brown. The, the 3G. 3G's got his own race going wherever he wants to go. As we got the race up at the front of this pack, the 113. 
Ah, uh, McClellan, here comes Holder one more time. Coming down low, can it stick right here? Door to door, coming out of tour number four. We got 10 to go, more nine more to go. Holder cannot quite get it to go down and around the 113 of McClellan. McClellan comes out of turn four with eight to go, still leading the pack. Causey running in that third spot, waiting for them, one of those guys to mess up. Holder trying it one more time as he sticks a nose down low out of four. Side by side underneath the flag stand. It's still the 113. Holden Holder working him over hard and heavy. Oh, might have a run right here as we come out of turn four. Do we have a new leader? Whoa, no, it, it's still the 113 machine of McClellan as we got us a dog fight up at the front of this pack. McClellan on the outside, Holder on the inside. As we got five to go, five more times around. Side by side, drag race down the back straightaway. Holder on the inside. McClellan on the outside, the 113 still leading it. It looks like that one notch up has got a better traction. The 113, here comes Holder one more time. Holder down low, McClellan up high. Two to go, two more times around. Does Holder have anything for him? Down low, one time, will it stick as we got a drag race one more time down the back straightaway? Holder making a move, will it stick this time? We come out side by side, McClellan. McClellan holding him off, oh, we got him back down there, we go. Oh, baby, baby. Down the back straight away. We coming down for the checkered flag. Hold on to what you got in the four. Here we go, last flag. Unofficially, the 113 of Justin McClellan. Hold and hold her. Woo! Oh, we go green, green, green. Here we go. Chris Ote on the outside in the 85. It looks like he got his car fixed up. He was having a little trouble in the heat race. As they bob and weave on the outside, here comes the 88 machine. Green, 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 here we go. Wetzel shot out of a cannon as he goes down the back straightaway. Kyle Berry on the high side. He's looking for some grip. See if he can catch up with the 88 machine. Josh Wetchell leading the pack. We got one up against the wall. That looks like Kyle Berry as he went up high. That 6X got something wrong with it as he goes to the infield. The 777. Seven, seven, seven. Green flag racing one more time. Watch out, Wall. Get out of my way. 
Wetzel still leading the pack. Johnny Brown in the B-51. Hanging on to that second spot. Got one going around backward. We scattered and we left and right. Bringing out our caution one more time. Green flag in the air. It's Wetzel Brown running one and two. Josh Wetzel, Johnny Brown. Brown on the outside as he runs and tries to run him down. He gets that high side, see if he can get it across over. Coming down, won't quite make it stick. Johnny Brown trying everything he can to get by the 88 of Josh Wetzel. Josh Wetzel, Johnny Brown, one running, one in two. Here comes Johnny Brown, does he have enough? Coming on that high side one more time. Right knocking on that back door. On the high side, shot out of a cannon. Does he have enough? No, he's got to break it back down. He may have found something on that high side as he's nose to tail with 12 laps to go. Johnny Brown, he can run him down, but he can't quite make the pass. Josh Wetzel holding them off in that 88 machine as we got 11 to go. Wetzel Brown coming out of turn number four, one and two. Josh Wetzel starting to put a little space between him and Johnny Brown. As this has become a two car battle. Out of four, eight laps to go, eight more times. Coming up on some lap traffic. Josh Wetzel. Johnny Brown under the flag stand still going, one and two. Move over flag saying, uh, move over. There's a race going on and you're not in it. Oh, got one around the backside. That will bring out our yellow. One time flag in the air. Here we go one more time. Mark Asher taking over that third spot as Wetzel goes under the flag stand six more times. Got one stopped on the no stop zone over in the back straightaway. Three out of four. Green, 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 green. Ha. 
Josh Wetzel's car looked like it has come alive. He has got it wound up as tight as it'll go. He starts to spread his lead as he comes under the flag stand with five to go. Five more times. Pulling about seven, eight car legs under the flag stand. It's Wetzel, Brown, and the 121 of Joshua Sosa. Wetzel has got that 88 machine wound as tight as it will go. As he comes out of turn four, he's got two to go, two more circles. Wetzel, Brown, and Salsa. White flag in the air. Here we go, looking for that checkered flag on a stick. Josh Wetzel taking that 88 machine, taking it home as he goes down the back straightaway. Two more turns to go. In the three, out of four. Checkered flag for your winner in the 88, Josh Wetzel. Rounds out your top 20, and here we are, a main racing and checkered flag chasing. Max car number 22 is going to carry him off into turn number one. The Battle B boys right behind them for top positions number two and three. It's all changed up. Take it away, Caleb. We've got ourselves a blanket over the top. Several cars right into the bottom group of the racing service. Maxwell, here comes Battle B. Battle B in the 01 of Weldon Beaver that's working the top, and we've got one around in turn number four. I just tripped over. Coming off of turn number four, here we go. Max be on the high side. Around him, car number 01 in the fourth spot. Down the back straightaway into turns number three and four. And job coming out of car number 57. That's Lucas over the track. And he's working his way to the front here. Down the back straightaway, still Maxwell is your leader in car number 22, the Battery Boy Brothers, car number 110 and 38 in second and third. Here comes the always fast 29W of Mike Walling. Walling's going to look to the top group of the racing service, going to look to go with maybe three wide here. Jacob Luth kicks his battle for the... Dustin Maxwell, car number 22, your current leader. The Battery Boys are all over here. Rear bumper as they go down the back straightaway. It's been his way since lap one. Well, Buford, car number 01, currently sits in the number four spot. The 57 car of Lucas on the bottom. He has worked his way to the four spot. Here comes car number 29, Mike Walling. He's worked his way. Give him the number three spot. No, four spot, five spot. He's dropping quick. Buford around him. Walling back to six. Man, what a change up in one lap's time. Justin Maxwell, car number 22, continues to lead with the Battery Boys on his rear bumper. Side by side, all the way down the back straightaway, the 38 to 110, the Battery Bees, and they are coming everything they can at Maxwell. Dustin Maxwell not straight for the bottom wall. Wall. And wall. we've got to our, have ourselves a yellow come on out here in top of turns number one and two, and that's going to slow the pace down a little bit, and that is racing here here we go dustin maxwell car number 22 your current leader the battle b boys oh they go up top side they bring lucas with them in car number 57 well a buford car number 01 he'll drop down to the inside in the number five spot carter battery is going to look to the top shelf working the bottom group of the racing service carson trying to find every little bit of inch of moisture but here comes that five seven hines 57 enterprises jacob lucas lucas speed factory to the bottom group of the racing service weldon buford in the 01 joining the mix here for the battle with third throw mike walling car number 29 in the number six spot he's trying to get up there along with car number 25 maverick elkins they're all trying to get to the number one spot We've got one around in turn number four. That's going to bring in our caution. That is Ryder Wells. That is going to be a second yellow. Two yellows equals a black. Current leader brings them into turn number three off of four. We're back up. Green flag racing. 
couple of cars to not count out during the mix here on this restart. Maverick Elkins and Alex Karpowix rounding out about your top seven or eight as we've got ourselves eight different contenders that can win this race right now. We High, low, in the between, all the way to the top, and we got a battle be coming around. I'm not sure if that's 38 or 110. It is the 110 car is your new leader. That's uh, Carson Batterby. And we've got a big red down in turn number four. Ryder Wells. Ryder Wells there. And we've got one throw in the steering wheel. 42, your current leader. Here we go. Batterby, car number three. Carter Batterby is going to look to the top shelf. He's got Lucas right behind him. Stock and Lucas is going to be Carson as well with Buford to the bottom. Buford's biking up over the cushion. Lucas. Lucas threw it up on a bicycle. He dropped back about eight spots, but he kept it on all four wheels. Still on the bottom. It's Maxwell on the top side. It's Batterby. That catfish is looking nice and hungry on the bottom out here as we're going to be wheel wheel down the back chute with the corner advantage to Batterby. Batterby brings them off of four. He'll come down to the start finish line. Er, flag stand 110 Carter Batterby, Houston, Texas, representing here tonight in Cleveland. Starting to put a little real estate between them. Will the other Batterby follow? Still not looking, making it hold up on the bottom, but Batterby has pulled out to about a 10, 20, 30, maybe, maybe 34. Carson Batterby going to have his hands full as the 01 that Pace Chassis South. Mr. Weldon Buford, we got one around and turns one and two, and that is going to be Alvarez looking the wrong way down a one way street. And the four, we're back up and running. Here we go. Most drivers stayed to the bottom and turns three and four in the restart. No one tried to get the momentum from the top, but everybody chasing the leader is going to the top in your top five except Maxwell. Buford has gone up to the high side. He's going to try to find Batterby, and Batterby is going down to the inside. Everybody swapped their lines. Mike Walling, car number 29, he currently sits in the fifth spot. Changing lanes and changing positions. Batterby and Buford. Buford going to try to get the spot here as Maxwell may hold up that 38 machine just a little bit on the bottom. Car number 57, Lucas is starting to wake his bay back to the front after getting up on two wheels. And turn number four a while ago, uh, wheel him back in. Yeah, you got to here we go, though. It's going to be Maverick Elkins in the crosshairs of Lucas Walling and Karpowix as we are getting ourselves a big battle here for the sixth place position brewing, but here comes Batterby on the heels of Maxwell. All the way bottom of the track to battling it. Meanwhile, Carson Batterby, he's going to the top side, and he's starting to walk the dog as it goes down the box straight away. Maxwell in the number two spot, Batterby in third, at Buford all the way to the top of the track. Carson Batterby right there on the tail tank of Maxwell. And pushing up off the bottom into a slider on the exit is going to be the 5-7 of Lucas. Opens the door for the 29W of Walling just a little bit, but the gap will close. Five. Lap traffic here. Car number 171, Carwell, just ahead of your leaders. They should be up on him in the next two laps. Big charge on the top shelf. Well done, Buford. Has that pace chassis south. Queued up and looking sharp. We're going to see if that top groove is going to start to dry out a little bit and that moisture go away. Not a big cushion up top. It's Batterby, Batterby. And then Mike by Buford. Buford at the top side. Here comes Mike Walling once again to the bottom side. Maverick Elkins, car number 25, sitting in the number five spot. And Lucas out there. we got a good battle for the top five all the way through the field. The Batterbys are going to have a lap car between them and third place of Maxwell. Caldwell still running his middle line. Will that change things for the 01 of Weldon Buford? Buford comes around Caldwell, and he's going to bring Maverick Elkins along with... The Batterbys are getting up here for a battle up here for the number one spot now. 
Carter and Carson, one up top, one down to the bottom group of the racing service as laps begin to wind down. White flag wave, one more lap and four more turns. There's a slap off the rear wheel. Wasn't supposed to be there. White flags in the air. We got the Batterby boys coming up here. It's going to be a battle all the way around the track here. Current leader, they'll come around here. Which of the Batterbees is it going to be for the Checkers? You're right. You're right. Off into turn number three. We looking for green. Hey, 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 hey! Green flag racing. Jessup taking over that second spot away from Barry as the 911 of Nathan Renfro starts to spread it out. Nathan Renfro, Kenneth Jessup running one and two. One, one of Nathan Renfro starting to spread it out as he's going down the back straightaway. He's got about three, four, five links on the 14th of Kenneth Jessup. Cody Wade in that 52 machine taking over that third spot. Whoa, we're going round and round. Watch out. Watch out, we are definitely parked in the wrong spot here. That will bring out our yellow. Pro leading the pack. As we go down the back, down the front straightaway. Renfro, Chesup, Barry, running one, two, three. Still Nathan Ripro down the back straightaway, the 14 machine of Kenneth Jessup. Kenny Berry hanging on to that third spot. A bit of smoke coming out of that old one of Kenny Berry. Oh, we got a flat tire on the number 10 car. He don't know, but he's in trouble. Margaret Guinness in the number 10 has a flat tire bringing it to the infield. See if they can bring it around and put a new tire on there, get her back in the mix. Renfro starting to spread his lead out. A battle comes for that second spot between Jessup and Barry. One, one Nathan Renfro still leading the pack as we got eight laps to go. Kenneth Jessup still hanging on to that second spot. Kenny Berry 
knocking on his back door in that third spot. It's still Renfro with six to go. Kenneth Jessup and Kenny Berry, one, two, three. Look like Donald Kane in the 179 running in that fourth spot as he's made it from the back of the pack, making it up towards the front. Donald Kane challenging for that third spot as he comes up besides Kenny Berry. Meanwhile, Renfro coming in with three to go up on some lab traffic here. Renfro, Finley, Berry, and Kane. Two to go, two more times around. Oh, shortcut white flag out. Making one more time around. Nathan Renfro in the 911, making his move as he goes off into turn number three, looking for that checkered flag on the stick, there is your winner. As Kenneth Jessup runs in that second spot, Kenny Berry and Donald Kane. But your winner in the 911, Nathan Rimpro. We are underway. Katie Howard, court number 15 on the outside. She's going to try to get around him real quick as I go down. And she's got the lead up. She gets loose. The lights are getting loose up here in the power. I don't know. And Jude Algai, our court number four, is on the inside looking for the number one spot behind Catholic Home. Jude, the dude, going to be about a half a lane up, trying to cross over underneath the inside of Dalton D-Man Moss. Not going to be enough. Here comes Lells to the inside of Howard out of two. So Cash Lacombe is going to be your leader as they come back around here. Dalton Moss, car number 84, the number two spot. The dude, car number four in the number three spot. Dalton Lells. Dal Dalton Lells. What is it? Dalton lost. Wait, number four. I'm lost in the name here. Nine, nine D, Deegan Lells. Dalton, Deegan, Logan, Logan. <laughs> you ain't kidding, you ain't kidding. Cash the Combs, your current leader as they come out of turn number four. Dalton Moss, car number 84 in the number two spot. Lells has his hands full. Jew the Dude, Algar Incorporated trying to work to the bottom groove. Not going to be enough in turns one and two, but here comes Howard reeling back in. Lucas, out of two down the back shoot. Corner Vantage is going to stay to the bottom of Mr. Lucas. Will we see something change as it's brewing now with Jude the Dude? All right. Your leader is going to be working their way into lap traffic in the next couple of laps. Car number 12 is going to be the first one they're going to come up on, and that is going to be Kinsley Riley. And she's just ahead of car number 95, Cash Lacombe. So we're going to see if lap traffic will change the way that this is going to play out. Dalton Moss at the catbird seat right now. Good position working. Right in the heels of that 97 of Cash Lacombe. All right, Cash Lacombe around, no problem. Here comes Dalton Moss, car number 84 in the number two spot. Let's see if he can get around just as easy as they're going to be coming up on some more lap traffic for too much longer. Bo Chapman, car number 19, just ahead of your leaders right now, and he's battling with the 21 car of Dylan Hall Halliman. 
All right, we're going to cross now. Nine laps down of the slated 20. So a lot of racing left in this win. Moss trying to get a little consistency here. He's bobbled a couple of times when he's gotten in contention for the 97. His lap traffic will come into play once again. Jude Algar, car number four. The dude sits in the number four spot right behind him. Deegan Lells in car number 90. In the fifth spot is Katie Howard, car number 15. And she's got the 61 car of Lucas right behind her. Working through lap traffic, 21H, Dylan Hamelman to the outside. Moss gets on by, no harm, no foul. We are now cross flags halfway home. All right, your leader, Cash Lacombe, bringing them off a of turn number four as they come down the front straightaway. Moss in car number 84 is closing it up. He might be going for the lead as they go down the back straightaway. Yes. And Moss going to be wheel to wheel, door to door, spot advantage down into the corner. We've got a new race leader. Can he seal the deal at the flag stand and get the lap complete? Yes, he can. He didn't seal the deal. He shellacked it, man. He got all the way on out to the front there. Cash Lacombe drops to the number two spot. Number three spot right now is the dude, Jude Algeyer. Dude's going to work to the bottom groove lap. Travis going to try to keep some separation between he and the 90 of Deegan Lells. That's going to be dicey on the exit of turn number four, but it is going to be A-OK. -okay. Katie Howard, car number 15, continues to hold down the number five spot. Number six spot right now goes to the number 61 car of Lucas. Brandon Lucas, part of the Lucas Speed Factory race team. Contract signed a few weeks back. We're going to get into that new PMP chassis finished up. And he had himself a pretty good starting spot with the way that the track conditions were, but didn't really kind of plan in his favor in lap traffic for Dalton Moss. Moss is starting to work his way through lots of lap traffic, and then he's going to get around one more car, and he's got clean sailing after that for a good ways. Dropping back to the number two spot, Cash Lacombe, car number 97. The third spot is, oh, look at this. We've got a battle for the third and fourth between Jude Algar, car number four, and Deegan Lells in car number 9D. Side-by-side -side battle as they go down the back straightaway. Lells give it to him as they go into turn number three and four. El Campo, Texas versus League City. League City advantage, 9D. Deegan Lells spotting advantage with a lap in the book. So can Jude the Dude try to reel him back in out of turn number two. It doesn't look like that'll be the case as the white flag waves on the 84 of Dalton Moss. Dalton Moss has picked up a quarter of a lap lead over the number 97 car of Cash Lacombe. They bring him down for the checkered flags. Your winner, car number 84, Dalton Moss. Green, 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 here we go. J.T. McCarlin. Here comes Jesse McNaughton. Garland, McNaughton. McNaughton coming out of turn number two. Two fast cars right here, two good drivers side by side. McNaughton pulling him as he comes down the back straightaway. Jesse McNaughton, J.T. Garland running one and two. Jesse McNaughton, J.T. Garland, as the 17 gets him by nose underneath that flag stand. McNaughton, Garland, still running one and two. Brendan Barnett, Barlett, in the number 27, running in that third spot, and the 77 of Jaden Pena. McNaughton, Garland. Bartlett and Pena. One, two, three, four. Jesse McNaughton start to stretch that lead out. On 
underneath the flag stand, it's McNorton, Garland, Barlett, and Pena. Douglas Mendez trying to get up there and run with the 77 machine. As we spread them out north to south, McNorton. McNorton D. Watering up at the front of this parade. <laughs> Ten to go. Ten more times around. McNorton, Garland, Barlett. And Pena. Jesse McNorton's got him by about five car lengths, but he cannot spread it out. JT Garland holding on to that second spot. Out of turn four, we got eight laps, eight more circles. Jesse McNard with six laps to go, about to catch the back of this pack. Jaden Pena taking over that third spot in that 77 as we got five to go. Jesse McNorton still catching the back of this pack as he comes up on slab traffic. He gets under the 39, has got to check it up. It's a 70-27 of Barlett. Gets sideways. We got three to go. McNorton, Garland trying to catch him down the back straightaway as he goes through last lap traffic. Whoa, Garland's going round and round. See if he can keep it going. Hang on to that second spot with two to go. It's still Jesse McNorton, JT Garland hanging on to that second spot. White flag in the air one more time around. JT Garland gets tangled up in some lab traffic, but he still hangs on to that second spot. As we come out of turn four, your winner in the number 17, Jesse McNorton, followed by the 99 of JT Garland, the 77 of Jaden Pena, and Brendan Barlett.